this Friday and Saturday, or first Friday and first Saturday, with the regular masses, as in the bulletin. And as always, I urge everyone to absorb the bulletins. But I chastise my body and bring it into subjection. Yet with most of them, God was not well pleased. For many are called, but few are chosen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. My good people, I think that we think we know what it means to chastise our body. And with Lent coming up, I'm sure most of us have a pretty sizable list of good intentions and resolutions and things we're going to give up things to chastise our body. But I'm afraid that we have only a superficial understanding of what it means to chastise our body. Because I think we leave off the second part, which is bring it into subjection. Giving up TV for 40 days, giving up candy, or any of these things we usually give up. I know people who give up alcohol for Lent, but the day after, they're right back at it. My good people, Let us go to the root of Christianity, for that matter, and let's chastise ourself, our self-will, and everything that stems from that self-will. When you get right down to it, all the problems in the world, either as a whole or individually, in our individual families or groups or persons, boils down to self-will. Which manifests itself in innumerable ways. We all know the seven main ones, pride, covetousness, and so on. So this Lent, let's get ourselves where it hurts. Let's work on our self. When we find ourselves being impatient with anybody, ourselves, our children, our parents, God, our neighbor. The moment we become aware of it, let's stop right there. It sounds easy. It's the hardest thing in the world. But stop right there. Apologize if necessary. Give yourself a small penance. And then go on. Don't continue on. Make yourself stop. That's chastising self. 
That's bringing the body into subjection. When we find ourselves strutting around in all our proud, self-deluded, self-induced, all-knowingness, stop and say, wait a minute. I'm a proud so-and-so. I've got to do something about it. And speaking of pride, as a good little test to know if you are having exceptional problems with pride or not. It's easy for me to say, yes, I'm proud, I have pride. But when somebody else comes to me and says, you're good for nothing proud so-and-so, and I start getting red in the face, that means that even though I admit I have pride, I don't accept the fact. Me? Me? Proud? How dare you? As soon as we find the blood rushing to our face, stop. It can be done. That's bringing the body into subjection. Swallow it back down and say, yes, you're right. That hurts. When we find ourselves real quick to judge others, stop ourselves right then, in the middle of it, and say, I'm sorry, I have no right to judge you, whether it's to an actual person or in your mind. And then turn that judgment unto yourself, unto myself. When I find myself becoming angry with anybody, the moment I'm aware of it, grab a hold of myself, grab a hold of yourself. Don't let it go on. Swallow it back down. That's chastising the body and bringing it into subjection. Giving up every physical thing in the world during Lent will not do us one ounce of good unless it is accompanied with the real subjection of the body. The real squashing of self-will. When we find ourselves being selfish, when we find ourselves thinking only of me, of doing that which assures that I get the best or the first or the mostest, Stop right there. Stand aside and let the other person go. All these examples now can be applied very broad-mindedly to everything. We must not be literal and apply that particular idea to that particular situation. It has variations, and we have but to look inside ourselves and see them. Once we start on this program of really chastising self, we will be amazed at how much work we have to do. Because we tend to go through life 
doing just enough to get by. We think we're doing just enough to get by. But my good people, what a dreadful chance we are taking that the day we stand up there before the judgment seat, that we might not hear the words, for many are called, but few are chosen, and you are not among the chosen. My good people, it is up to each one of us individually to assure, to make sure that we are among the chosen. There's no button that anybody can push and trust though, I'm there. Every moment of every day, I have to keep squashing self back down. As soon as it rises up in whatever form, I gotta grab a hold of it and push it back down. That's the chastising of the body. That's bringing the body into subjection. My good people, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost, amen.